Lay fears following yesterday's ratings downgrade as a result of last week's cabinet reshuffle. All right, so in that top story, Kasatu has called for President Jacob Zuma to resign. Following its special central executive meeting, the Trade Union Federation says Zuma is no longer fit to lead the ANC, the alliance, nor the country. It lambasted him for not consulting alliance partners on the cabinet reshuffle, which it says was not based on merit but political loyalty. As calls for Zuma to step down intensify, ANC stalwarts also want the party's National Executive Committee to recall him. We think that of all his undeniable contribution to both to the movement and government, the time has arrived for him to step down and allow the country to be led by a new collective at government level. We no longer believe his leadership abilities and we shall be communicating the decision to our ally in the ANC. From one of his most vociferous supporters to one of President Jacob Zuma's fiercest critics. Kasatu now wants the man it helped ascend to the highest office out. And the straw that broke the camel's back. And to the best of the president's silence on his intent to change his executive. For the first time under President Zuma, Kosatu was not consulted during the latest cabinet reshuffle. He also failed to deal with some of the most incompetent ministers in his cabinet, proving that this cabinet shuffle was not based on merit, but on a political loyalty. President Jacob Zuma finds himself increasingly isolated. Kasatu's vote of no confidence follows that of the SACP. His biggest and most loyal allies now turning against him. And the state of the tripartite alliance, precarious. Clearly, if you look within the alliance, it is clear that uh, President Jacob Zuma does no longer have support. And I think that other members of the alliance, that is your SACP and COSADU, have come to the reality that the uh, president is actually a liability. If you are going to self-correct problems within the NC, that platform does no longer exist within the party. So hopes are within the tripartite alliance as to whether they can come up with a dignified way through which to deal with this problem that exists within the ANC. ANC veterans, on the other hand, want the ANC's National Executive Committee to act. For us, this president has actually decided to take the role of the president of the country as one that is totally delinked and in defiance of his organization and the constitutional court and parliament. And we believe that the ANC needs to take regard of this because it's a very dangerous line and precedent. Civil society too, armed with voices and placards. With calls from within the alliance now unprecedented, the pressure is mounting. The president's fate now lies with Latuli House. Chris Alder Lewis, SABC News in Johannesburg.